morning, damage assessment teams will be out surveying the impact of last night's storm. National Weather Service says as many as six possible tornadoes were reported on the ground. The worst damage we've seen so far is on a farm near Nicollet. Viewers sent us some images of what they saw in that area. National Weather Service teams will need to confirm whether these were actually tornadoes, and if so, what rating on the enhanced Fujita scale. First funnel was reported around 4.20 in the afternoon in Lake Crystal, not far from Nicolette. And the videos we have are all from that area. And Nicolette is where our crew captured this video last night. The homeowner told us that he was watching the funnel cloud approach and said it was bouncing up and down. He decided to take cover when it touched the ground again about a mile and a half away from his house. Less than a minute later, it passed over uprooting trees, ripping off shingles, and tearing a wall in the garage apart. They lost power. XL Energy crews were there trying to fix it. While that damage appeared to be isolated, flash flooding is something people saw all over, including in the Twin Cities Metro. Flash flood warnings continued into the night as we saw some impressive rainfall totals. I know I woke up to all these warnings on my phone to be alert for standing water in the roadway, and we sure had it in our neighborhood. Yeah, there's flash flooding as near as close as Shakopee. There were some uh, cars stalled out because mm -hmm. of that. So rain totals as high as six inches in wow. southwestern Minnesota. Several spots over three inches of this rain. This in a couple hours, right? Yeah, I mean, and that was kind of the interesting thing, and, and probably one of the biggest reasons why we don't have a ton of damage reports right now is because when those storms went through, there was so much rain it was really difficult to pick out the rotation normally when we see tornadoes it's a little bit of a drier setup mm -hmm. and you're able to see that funnel cloud forming uh, kind of early in the afternoon when we saw that first one come and then uh, as the national weather said six more reports of tornadoes yeah. mm -hmm. I'll show you the line that that took first one popped up uh, just to the west of Lake Crystal you can see it there that was at about 420 kept moving up north through Nicollet by about five bringing down tree branches I think the biggest I saw was about 12 inches in diameter kept moving northward towards Gaylord and still by 615 this was that heavy rain wrapped tornado uh, just to the west of Gaylord and then things did weaken a little bit and some of that rotation went away but you can still see this system is sitting right over Minnesota that low pressure swirling just to the southwest of the Twin Cities and that big front lifting north of us that's where the heavy rain stills hanging on this morning